Do you keep wondering if there is a better framework out there? Because JavaScript and the TypeScript ecosystem is full of libraries, frameworks, and tools that seem to do the same thing. But when it comes to the backend frameworks, it seems that Nest.js is slowly but surely taking the lead. I might be slightly biased because I have been using Nest for a few years and I love it. However, after researching forum discussions, articles, and surveys, I found that many other developers just like me would rather use Nest rather than other frameworks. In this video, I'm going to break down why Nest.js is becoming so popular and we'll look at its features, how it stacks against other frameworks, and why developers are making the switch. And don't worry if you are new to Nest.js because I'll also show you why it's not as scary to learn as you might think. So what makes Nest so special compared to other frameworks? So first, Nest.js is what we call an opinionated framework. This means that it has strong opinions about how you should structure your code. And you might think, hey, don't tell me what to do. I'm an engineer, I'm super smart. But trust me, this approach has some big advantages. When you work with Nest, it guides you to use specific tools and code in a certain way. So this might sound restrictive, but actually it makes your code more maintainable and consistent across different projects. And imagine joining a new team and being able to understand the code base very quickly because it follows familiar patterns. So that's what you get when you use Nest.js. Now let's talk about TypeScript. Nest is built with TypeScript from the ground up, and this is a game changer because this tight integration with TypeScript brings some serious benefits to your development process because with TypeScript, you get strict typing in your JavaScript development. And this might sound like a little small thing, but it's huge for reducing bugs and making your code easier to understand and maintain, especially in large projects. And if you've ever spent hours debugging a silly type error, you'll appreciate this. Nest.js also comes with a very powerful command line interface, so a CLI, and that can really boost your productivity because it helps you quickly set up a project and generate components like modules, controllers, and services. And this also means less time setting up boilerplate code and more time focusing on actual business logic. When you choose Nest.js, you're choosing a structured approach to development, built-in TypeScript support, and a set of powerful tools that can make your coding a lot easier. But on top of that, Nest.js comes with some secret weapons. First, Nest.js also guides you in organizing your code using a modular architecture. So you create these small reusable pieces of code called modules, and you combine them to create a complex application. This is super helpful when you're working on a big application and you can organize your code into logical units, which makes it easier to scale and maintain your project as it grows. However, to have that modular architecture, Nest.js relies on dependency injection. I know it sounds a little bit scary, but it's actually pretty cool. Basically, you can define a controller class, for example, and in that class, you declare your dependencies. In short, you say, my controller needs this and that, and the Nest.js framework takes care of injecting those dependencies at runtime. Trust me, it's not that hard. You do it a few times and then it becomes very natural. Plus, it helps with testability. Now, something that you'll immediately notice when looking at Nest.js code is what really makes Nest.js stand out is decorators. They let you add metadata and extra behavior to your classes and method in a really clean and readable way. So this might not sound super exciting, but trust me, it makes your code so much easier to understand and maintain. Nest.js really gives you a ton of guidance on how to write better, more maintainable code. Now I know what you're thinking. Nest.js sounds great, but isn't it really hard to learn? So this is a common concern, but it's not as tough as you might think. And here is why. So let's address some common misconceptions about Nest.js difficulty. Sure, it uses TypeScript and it has a modular architecture, which might seem a little bit intimidating at first, but here's the thing. So these features actually make it easier in the long run. The strong typing helps catch errors early. And to be honest, you don't even have to understand all the software architecture concepts and all the fancy patterns to write a Nest.js app. One of the best thing about Nest.js is its amazing documentation. Seriously, like the maintainers have done an incredible job on that documentation. It's detailed, well-organized, and it has a lot of examples in there. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, 
you'll find everything you need to get started and tackle even complex projects. Now, let me share a little secret with you. So there are some fantastic resources out there to help you learn Next.js. And in particular, there is this new channel called Tech Vision, which is definitely worth subscribing to if you ask me. And of course, you can also check out the official Nest.js tutorials, the community forums, they have a Discord channel as well, and other YouTube channels too. And if you are already familiar with TypeScript or Angular, you are in luck because your learning curve will be much smoother. And it's like you already done some of the work and the similar syntax and architectural style means that you can jump right in and start building a Nest application. Here are some tips to help you get up to speed very quickly with Nest.js. So first, I would highly recommend you leverage the power of the CLI. It's a very powerful tool that can help you create new projects, generate source files in seconds. So the second one is to follow the conventions laid out in the documentation because Nest.js has strong opinions like we've seen about how things should be done. And if you follow these guidelines, it will save you a lot of headaches down the road. And yeah, just follow whatever the documentation says at least to start with. Lastly, start small. Don't try to build a massive complex application straight away. Begin with a simple project to get comfortable with the framework structure. And as you gain confidence, you can tackle more complex features. So don't let the misconceptions hold you back. With the right resources and the right approach, you'll be building robust, scalable applications with Next.js in no time. But there is another reason why developers are switching to Next.js. So Next.js is not some random new framework. It's been around for like years and massive companies such as IBM, Adidas, and ByteDance, AKA TikTok are using it. So developers and organizations are using it because it has a lot to offer and big teams can work together, follow the same rules and build robust applications that can scale. But it's not just about the features as well. So the Next.js community is growing fast and that means more resources, more packages, and more support when you need it. And if you're thinking about giving Nest.js a try, I'd say go for it. And hey, if you need help getting started, you can check out this video I made for you. And in that video, I've condensed the entire framework into 10 core concepts to help you get started with solid foundations.